What is up, Zero Gang? My name is Castle Zero Vlogs, and today My we are going to be talking about the white messiah, the great white hope, none other than Donald Trump. If you don't get that joke, by the way, that's from Jesse Lee Peterson. Shouts out to him. But we're going to be talking about Donald Trump. This is going to be a short video, but I didn't want to uh, shine a little light on this because now Trump is supposed to be getting canceled or dragged or attacked, etc. You guys know what, what happens on Twitter because he threw some shade uh, to a guy named Colin Powell. I noticed this was uh, trending uh, like number six or number eight on uh, Twitter. I think it's number eight now, but earlier it was trending number six. So I thought this would be a good topic to talk to you guys about. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Well, for the we're getting into this video and figure out exactly what Trump said. I can almost promise you it's something very minuscule, but you know how people want to, if Trump said it, people, people want to jump on it. So let's figure out exactly what happened. This formal president Donald Trump was roasted online on Tuesday after his statement about the death of former Republican Colin Powell, a veteran. Oh, he's a veteran. Uh, that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, but it was shared on Twitter, it says. Uh, I think this is quoting uh, Trump. He says, wonderful, wonderful to see Colin Powell, who made big mistakes on Iraq and famously so called weapons of mass destruction, be a threat and death so beautifully by the fake news media. Oh, so, oh, I mean, that's not that bad. I'm not gonna lie, that's not even that bad. Like, people tripping. Let's see if he said anything else. He goes on to say, hope that happens to me someday. He was a classic, what is that, I-N-O? If even that, always being the first to attack other Republicans. Oh, he was a Republican. So he was like a traitor, gotcha. So he was a fake Republican, I gotcha, gotcha. So that makes a lot more sense why Trump was throwing him under the bus. He made plenty of mistakes, but anyway, may he rest in peace. So he was a, uh, he was a traitor then to other Republicans. So let's read the rest of it. After the statement went viral, he's a POS trended online. It goes on to say, Donald Trump is not fit to even speak the name of the late General General Colin Powell out of his filthy mouth. How dare you? How I mean, how dare he? I was assume reading. How dare he? What a POS somebody tweeted. <laughs> All right, let's, let's read the rest of this. And one wrote, Colin Powell as a politician made mistakes, but unlike Donald Trump, he actually served in combat for his country, just like John McCain. The Donald really is a POS. See, you guys tell us this like lame, like cornball losers just type it on Twitter. No one cares what you got to say, man. If you voted for this POS, you're just as bad as he is. He's been a POS coward all his life. Rest in peace, Colin. Like, is it any better than Biden? Like, realistically. Now, I'm not saying Trump is the best president. A good president, but not the best by a long shot. Um, but you guys have to take, take it in perspective and kind of look at it, right? And the four years that Trump was in office, life was pretty good, especially if you work and you, you know, wasn't manipulating the welfare system, etc. While now the gas prices, and I kid you not, in California, the gas prices, I've seen videos that they're like $5 in some areas, $6 in some areas. Can you imagine driving V8 or a truck, right? In California, which most people probably do have trucks, and your gas is $6 per gallon. My gas here is about $3.19. And for my Challenger, I'm telling you guys like 50 bucks. 50 bucks to fill the tank up, all right? Now my Toyota isn't too bad with gas, use it pretty good. But I'm just saying, you know, this is still high, all right? That's the point I'm trying to get to. Inflation's at an all time high since the 1920s. Like you can't say if you voted for him, like get your emotions out of it. These are emotional men. These are very weak men that comment this. These are the men, these are the beta men that men that give their money to Twitch girls and they simp for these Twitch girls and like, don't talk bad about her, but then she'll roast him. And he's like, well, she's a girl, it's okay. These are very weak men. Men aren't men anymore, all right? The females are men these days and it shows because people just think with their emotions or men think with their emotions. I'm pretty sure there's some females, but females are always emotional. So I'm not really counting that. 
but the men, and I'm really getting into the men right now, they're very emotional. He's saying something that I don't like. I won't vote for him, even though I'm hurting my family for not doing so, and I work a white collar job. I'm a middle class citizen, and I won't vote. You know, the person's gotta help me because he said something that hurt my feelings. He talked about a dead person I don't know. Like, get over it, all right? Get over it. Get over it. This is a simple, get over it. Let's get into the rest of the video. Another lame set, draft dodger, Donald Trump, Chaz, John McCain, now call him pal, what a P.O. They all say the same thing, what a P.O.S. They all say the same thing, it's like, it's just regurgitated stupidity. They see one person do it, they're like, I'm gonna say the same thing. They have, they're just like mindless ones, man. They really are mindless ones. They have no mind of their own. They're just like a herd. They have a hive mind, you know? It's, I bet this person down here is gonna say the same thing. So this person as well. As soon as I saw what a P.O.S. As soon as I saw what a P.O.S. trending, I knew it couldn't be about anyone other than Donald Trump. I mean, granted, there are a lot of a-holes in the country, far too many, but he still is the king of the a-holes, pretty much unchallenged. If you think he is the king of the a-holes, look at some of my old content, all right? I'm the king of the a-holes. You guys have no idea how watered down my content is to make sure it's in the TOS of YouTube. You wanna see a-hole? Look at my content. Donald Trump doesn't even touch, touch a hair, all right, on my big toenail, all right? Okay, I don't know why I'll have a hair on my big toenail, but you guys know the, the, the hair when you're a man, you have like a little hair on your big toe. That's, that's what I meant, I messed the joke up. But you guys get what I'm saying, all right? Like he's not that bad, he's, he really isn't that bad. There's way worse people, all right? There's way, way worse people than Trump. Like Trump, he's just, like he's not even really that bad, dude. He's just these weak people, that's what it is. He's just an old fashioned dude. Talk to any old person, they talk just like Trump. There's no, there's no difference. These people are weak. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this whole thing. And I just have to simply say, people are weak. This isn't even that bad. I wanted to make a video on Trump because I haven't made a video on Trump in a very long time, but this isn't even that bad. Like he said what he said. If the dude was a you know, political traitor, then I get it. You know, forget him that he's hurting the cause, you know, especially some people like, they really put their life on the line. They really, especially for like if you're a troop too, like if you look at what Biden's doing to the troops, like that alone should just make you like Trump more. Uh, I'm not trying to convince people to like Trump, by the way. It's not what this video is about. I'm just using logic and just, uh, you know, the same statements is true. Um, like look at what Biden did. Like Biden disrespected any veteran way more than Trump ever could with his actual actions rather than his words. I don't go about what people, how they act, what their actions are and not the words. That's what matters to me. I don't care what somebody says. I can take a joke, who cares? But I do care if somebody is acting nice to me and then taking money out of my pocket, stealing my stuff. That stuff matters to me. If someone's actually there for me, like Trump, and he's a douchebag or he's just, you know, saying stuff, he's an a-hole, I'm fine with that. But do not, and I mean, do not steal from me because that's what pretty much the Democrats do, they steal from me, right? Um, unless you're lazy and just want free stuff. I don't see why anyone, you know, would, would like a Democrat to be honest, especially not just any Democrat, but this Democrat. I like JFK. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's a Democrat. But like, look at, look at like what Biden's doing, man. I can't really call him a Democrat. I don't want to really insult real Democrats like that. Like, this is something else. I don't want to get too deep into it because I'm trying to keep it in the TOS of YouTube. So I see you looking at me, YouTube. Don't worry. I'm going to wrap it up. I won't get too deep into it. But the point is, is that Trump didn't say anything too weak, too bad. People are still weak because we live in a world where people don't know what the meaning of words are anymore and they make up words. So I'm gonna leave the video at that. I have so much to say, but I feel like I'm gonna like get this video demonetized if I keep it up. So I'm gonna end it right there. The point is Trump said nothing wrong. I believe in free speech, everything that the constitution has in it, I believe in it because I'm American. I support my true Americans, regardless if you think differently than me, you have my up the utmost support for me. So that is my opinion. But what do you guys think? You guys think that Trump took it too far? Do you guys think that, you know, Trump is a POS and all that other stuff that they were saying? I honestly want to know. I know YouTube's going to delete your comments, but hopefully you can, you know, copy and paste it back. So if you guys are new to the channel, like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there. Ooh, out there. Ooh, and this jungle that we call YouTube. Why don't further ado, that's going to be it for the video. And this whole entire time I was looking over here and the camera's like right there. So if I'm like looking off, I'm not like a drug addict. I just forgot my camera's over here. I have my camera over here. But anyway, remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. Thank you for watching.